Hi my dear friends, I welcome you all to Learner's Planet. So our today's topic is all about hurricane. This week's topmost news is all about Hurricane Sandy which hit the US East Coast and it affected almost 22 states. But before stepping on to Hurricane Sandy, let us first see that what is meant by hurricane. Now let us start with today's interesting session and let us see that what is actually meant by a hurricane. My dear friends, a hurricane is a severe rotating tropical storm with heavy rains and cyclonic winds exceeding 74 miles that is 119 kilometers per hour especially a storm which occurs in the northern hemisphere. So my dear friends, a hurricane is a tropical storm with winds that have reached a constant speed of 74 miles per hour or more. The eye of the storm is usually 20 to 30 miles wide and it may extend over 400 miles. How frightening it is. My dear friends, you might be very amazed to know this. that the dangers of a storm include torrential rains, high winds and storm surges. A hurricane can last for two weeks or moreover warp open water and it can run a path across the entire length of the eastern seaboard. So basically, hurricanes originate in the tropical parts of the Atlantic Ocean or the Caribbean Sea and it generally moves towards north side and they lose force when they move over land or even colder, sorry, colder ocean waters. So basically, it is a tropical storm with very high winds speed that have reached a constant speed of 74 miles per hour or more. So, I want to add that a hurricane is a huge storm. And it has strong winds spiraling inward and upward at speeds of 75 to 200 miles per hour. Each hurricane usually lasts for over a week, moving 10 to 20 miles per hour over the open ocean. So it is all about the hurricanes which form from the oceans, from the open waters. Now let us switch on to another topic of hurricane which is very important. Yes, how hurricanes form. Now here you can see a very clear flow chart or we can say as a diagram. Here we have shown the formation of hurricanes. Now the first step which actually leads to the formation of hurricanes is warm ocean water. Now here warm ocean water when it is more than 80 degrees Fahrenheit sorry 80 degrees Fahrenheit or more then what happens it provides energy for the hurricane and it causes more evaporation making humid air and clouds. Now when the evaporation process is taking place, the humid air forms and finally the winds come together and it forces the air upwards. Now after this, when the winds force the air upwards, the winds flow outward above the storm allowing the air below to rise. Now slowly the, this air rises because of the wind which flows at a very great speed. So what happens finally that this humid air which is rising it makes the clouds of the storm. Now here you can see that these clouds are forming because of the humid air which is rising and because of the wind which is flowing at a very great speed. Like you can assume as 74 miles per hour. 
So what happens when this humid air rises? Yes, it makes the clouds of the storm and finally the light winds outside the hurricane steer it apart and let it grow. And this is what forms the hurricanes. So basically hurricanes only form over really warm ocean water of 80 degrees Fahrenheit or warmer because the atmosphere, the air must cool off very quickly the higher we go. That is, the wind must be blowing in the same direction and at the same speed to force the air upward from the ocean surface. And finally, the winds flow outward above the storm, allowing the air below to rise. So hurricanes typically form between 5 to 15 degrees latitude north and south of the equator. And this is what forms the hurricane. So this was all about the formation of hurricanes. Now this is the another section of our session that is let us share. This is all about the sum of the information about Hurricane Sandy. Now as per the given data we will discuss about the Hurricane Sandy. Now here you can see the picture where it is shown that this forms the hurricane on earth. It is all because of the rains, cyclonic winds and the huge speed which causes the hurricane. Now what is Hurricane Sandy? My dear friends, the largest Atlantic hurricane in diameter on record with its winds stretching about 1100 miles from end to end, Hurricane Sandy is the late season tropical cyclone. So what is it? A late season tropical cyclone that affected the largest, largest or the greater Antilles, the Bahamas, the eastern United States and eastern Canada. The 18th tropical cyclone and named storm and 10th hurricane of the 2012 Atlantic hurricane season, Sandy developed from a tropical wave in the Western Caribbean Sea on 20, October 21st. Now you might have heard about the news on 20, 20, 29th of October, but it basically started on October 21st. It became a tropical depression, quickly strengthened and was upgraded to a tropical storm six hours later. Then Sandy moved slowly northward toward the crater Antilles, Antilles and gradually it intensified. So this is what is Hurricane Sandy. Now let us discuss about the news update of this week. That is Hurricane Sandy which hit US East Coast on 29th of October 2012. Now basically if we see the story behind curtains of the Hurricane Sandy which hit on 29th of October, this was not the day when it actually started but it was on October 24th when Sandy was upgraded to a hurricane shortly before making landfall in Jamaica. And upon moving farther north, Sandy re-entered water and made its second landfall in Cuba during the early morning of 25th of October. But what happened, my dear friends, by, by during the late evening of 20, 25th of October, Sandy weakened to its strength in the early hours of October 26th and it headed north towards the Bahamas. So what happened after that? Here you can see the map where we can show that this is Virginia Beach, this is Atlantic Ocean. So this was the place from where it actually started and Sandy briefly weakened to a tropical storm in the early hours, early morning hours of 27th of October then re-strengthened to a hurricane later that morning, just before 8 a.m., that is Eastern Daytime, 
daylight time on 29th of October. Here you can see Hurricane Sandy, 29th October 2012. Right, so it was on this day when Sandy turned to the north northwest and started to make its expected approach towards the US coast, still maintaining the strength. The National Hurricane Center, NHC, it was the NHC which announced that the storm had come ashore about 8 pm and 5 miles southwest of the Atlantic City, New Jersey. And on October 29, 2012, at 7 p.m., Sandy was declared as the post-tropical cyclone. So, my dear friends, what I'm telling here is Sandy's impact on the United States affected at least 22 states, stretching from Florida to New England with tropical storm force winds stretching far inland and mountain snows in West Virginia. And this cyclone brought a storm surge to New York City on the evening of 29th October with numerous streets and tunnels flooded in lower Manhattan and other areas of the city. The second news update which I would like to discuss is Sandy wrecks havoc for airlines airports. Means it is now surrounded by water. The airports and airlines are surrounded by water at the LaGuardia airport and it didn't have a chance, stand a chance against Sandy. Now here more than 1807, sorry, 18,700 flights in North America has had been cancelled since Saturday because of the, sorry, it had been cancelled because of the Hurricane Sandy and according to the latest tally from the flight stats with more than 6,400 of those flights being grounded just yesterday with various airports remaining closed so this is also majority of the problems which have been predicted at east coast airports and here you can see some pictures devastating pictures of the hurricane sandy which affected a lot of properties here you can see the tropical storm and the high winds at a very high speed. Here you can see a boat which is drowned and this is the road on which the Hurricane Sandy struck. Sorry, it struck. So a car is just moving on from off from the road. So this was all about the news update. Now let us see that what the President Barack Obama did after happening, after all the happening. Yes, here you can see the picture of Barack Obama, President Barack Obama. He cancelled campaign appearances in Ohio on Wednesday and scheduled a trip to New Jersey instead to survey damage caused by the powerful storm Sandy a move designed to portray him as a strong leader before the election day. So, the president received updates on the storm overnight and he signed several disaster declarations over the last few days. And the Democrats hope that his leadership during the storm and the attention that receives will make up for the lost campaign time in states such as Ohio, Florida, Wisconsin and Colorado where he has cancelled events this week also. So Obama and Romney are neck and neck in national polls but the Democratic incumbent has held a slight lead in many of the swing states. So that was all about the hurricane. I hope you enjoyed today's session learning about hurricane and about the hurricane Sandy. So I'll meet you with a new topic in the next time in the next session till then take care and have a nice time